Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at lists in Python. A list is basically um, an object, a data object that contains uh, other data objects. So let's uh, define one here. So I'm going to define one called fruits and, and I will add some names of fruits in it. Okay, so it has these four fruits in it. You can either just type fruits or you can print fruits to view the contents. How do you access a particular element in this uh, list? You can do it this way. You can say fruits zero and it'll give you apples. You can say fruits one and give you bananas, two cherries and three dates. So notice that the first element, which is apples, is indicated by the index zero and the second one is index one and so on. So the last item will have the index three here. If you try to enter fruits four, it'll give you an error. So that's one. Now, if you want, you can also um, retrieve uh, a set of results. Like, for example, you can do something like this zero colon one. If you did this, you'll get apples. And it's an array because um, it's returning a list which is a subset of the original list so you could do 0 comma 2 and it becomes a little bit more obvious here so now you can get apples and bananas the items um, whose index is 0 and 1 and you can do fruit 0 colon 3 and you'll get apples bananas and cherries and 0 colon 4 you'll get all of them and here you could do 0 colon 5 and you will not get an error but you'll get the entire array Notice here that you will get all the results from the first index to the one before the last index. So that's basically how you can retrieve a subset of a list, which is also a list. The other thing you can do is you can also define lists of numbers. So the, this list here contains all text, but you can also define a list of numbers. I'm just going to call it NUMS equals three, five two four just some random numbers here and you can also define a list that contains a mix of numbers and strings so you could do uh, five you could do something like this and that's valid as well now, the next thing you can do with lists is you can also have a list of lists. So you can say all lists equals fruits, nums, and mix. So you can do this. And now if you say all lists, you'll get all of them. Now, if you want to access a particular element in this list, so let's say you want to access bananas here. So what you need to do is all underscore lists within parenthesis the first thing you need to do is zero and the next thing you need to do is one because notice that this list here is a zeroth list and that refers to the zero here and within this list bananas is the first item index one so if you enter this it'll say bananas and if you enter list one one it'll give you the number five if you enter lists two one it'll give you bananas again and two, three should give you apples. So that's basically how you access these things. You can think of a list of lists as a two dimensional array with uh, this as the first row, this is the second row, this is the third row and so on. Only thing is unlike a matrix where you need all the rows and columns to be uniform here, you don't need it to be uniform. So the first row could contain five elements. The third row could contain four elements and so on. That's a brief introduction to lists. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.